Ouch. Oh, oh. I'm just going down a little bit so you can drop on me. Ooh. I might try that. Oh, would you look at that? Commander Creed is live. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that looked good. I've just got to throw the linens in the wash and then I'll be back. Cool. Keep bouncing off the... Uh... Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe I should get down on a flatter plane. If you can do. Anything level. We can get up to something reasonably level, it should be okay. That's not so bad there. You're like right here. Like if you could get like in that. Tell me where you want me. Where do you want uh, me? Let's see. Like, kind of like right down in there. Well, don't fire at me. I've got no shields on. <laughs> I'm not firing at you. <laughs> I'm not firing at you. I'm firing in okay. the direction. Okay. I'm getting there. I was gonna shoot you. Shoot you. All right. Oh no, no, hang on. Now turn yourselves counterclockwise. Yeah. About three hours. Say when? No, not 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 laterally, That's... vertically. Oh, vertically. Yeah. No, like uh, roll. Yeah. Roll. Yeah, roll like counterclockwise. About three hours. Ah. Oh. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep turning. A little bit. A little bit more. Yeah, but that's that's not level. That's uh, I'm crooked with the horizon. You'll get on and slip off. Well, okay, well. Because you you're at an angle. I'm I level. You. I got you. All right. Do you want me to go I forwards? I think I got this. I think I you got sure? This. Yeah. All right. Uh, go All right, to I'm holding left. station. My sh shields are off. Go for it. Go to your left. Sorry? To your left. No, Your not, other not, left. Not, not, not on an axis. Just move laterally left. This. Oh, I see. Hang on one second. This way. Yes. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. All right, that's good. All right now. Move forward. forward. That's good. Right there. Just tap okay. it in. I'm locked. I'm stationary. Cool, you've gone high, man. Uh, I Where's think you missed. <laughs> I think you missed me big time. <laughs> you didn't go far enough left. I should have had you go more left. That's all right. Where are you now? Tumbling down the old down on my ass. Now, how do I? <laughs> how do, how do I, you oh, do that? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Well, at least you're in a place now that could be uh, a little better for, for pickup. Yeah, look at me. I'm on my ass. Yeah, how I can the, see how you. The, how the shit does that always happen? I don't know. Let me get. I'm, I'm going to give you a little love tap. Don't, don't get. Don't get. I'm going to take a picture. Okay. Are you guys going to go back to okay, doggy killing or what are you doing? No, I think we're doing the uh, explore, explore stuff now. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. <clears throat> tap me just a tad. I'm gonna tap you a tad. Just spit tap on it a little. Yeah, just fit. Right. I'll try to be as gentle as I can. <laughs> oh. just, just, just make sure you offer him a bovril afterwards. Are you gonna. Don't, don't pull back. Hang on. Don't pull back. <laughs> I, hey, I can't see this stuff, so. <laughs> Oh, this is good. This is this is golden stuff. This is. If you put your landing gear up, you might not clip it. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hold on. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Uh, that was funny. Hold on. Just listening to yep. you guys is something else. Yeah, you want to see what he's doing? It's hysterical, right? 
Oh, by the way, I'm apparently allied with Pilots Federation. Are you really? Yeah. Thanks That's to welcome. all your dedicated service, you are considered an ally of Pilots Federation. Brilliant. Well, blah, hopefully blah, 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 blah. that should go. Hopefully I got that as well. That'll make me triple elite and Pilots Federation. Raxley, here <laughs> I come. Uh, Swanky? Yes. Oh, good picture. I like that. That's a good one. Right, if you turn around, yeah. look where I am. Okay, one second. If you, and if uh, if you can't get on my back from here... <laughs> get on, get on his front. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> you see some of the pictures? He's yeah, I'm watching them, man. Oh, oh, I see you. I see you up there. You really don't want to lose your SRV, do you? I don't care, I got yeah. it. Yeah, it's good fun. Oh, seven jumps to Shinrata. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ouch! Come on, it won't. <laughs> How do you do that? There you, you go. There it is. Okay, good. All right, cool. Now we're flipped over. Most crude way to do it, but we did it. We did it. All right. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'll turn my handbrake off. I'll roll a little bit. I'm gonna give it a go. And I'm gonna handbrake and I'm gonna hope to land on you. Yep. Just get on, get on that back and I'll carry you like a t like a turtle. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. I'm locked. Steady. Right, Shields are off. Oh. Up she comes, over the top, I like it, I like it, I like it, and you're on. Yep. Good. Get into the center. Alright. Let me know back. when you're ready. Alright, now do you know where my ship is? It's straight above us, isn't it, on the ledge. So what, are you going to fly him to his ship? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to raise him up uh, That's a couple funny. hundred meters. We're practicing what we might have to do. That's we're, right. We're doing the Buzz Aldrin shit, you know, like the fake landing and all that. That's right. You okay, you ready? My ass. Yeah, just take it easy, cause you want you want to take a picture before we go. Uh, uh, if you want to, yeah. Let's see. Let's but see. you do that. All right, hold on. You can show, show it to the guys. You can see uh, what we're doing. Meanwhile, let me go to external cam just to see how high and where we are. Right, we look level. I'll tell you what, that is one awesome picture from... Because it's ice and the uh, engines are on, it's just blowing the the uh, stuff from the, from the surface. It's pretty cool. Like the silt on the bottom of the ocean kind of thing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the thrusters are... Uh... <laughs> Kind of pushing up the ice dust, I guess. Let me see if I can get you in the picture too, in the cockpit. I'm trying to see where your ship is. Right, it's up that ledge there, so I need to go straight up and slightly. Okay. Okay, you ready? One second, just one second. I'm almost. Still trying to get a good angle on this picture, sorry. Hey, ma'am. Yeah? You reckon I'm better off to keep bounty hunting in my vulture, or do you reckon I should upgrade to a uh, clipper, cutter, whatever the small one is? The thing with the, the thing with the vulture, though it's good, it really is a support ship. Yeah. Yeah. Hit dark fight, you can't really keep in the mix for too long, that's the problem, you got to leg it. Yeah. Oh, well, you've oh. seen me in combat with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you can, you done really well, but it's a support ship. If you had something like a drop ship or a gun or something bigger than that then that would probably be a lot better <coughs> what, was you think, what was you thinking of <coughs> um I was just thinking like the um the imperial clipper uh, I think that's a smaller one yeah the clipper's oh, a really nice stuff. ship I'm not you might want to have a quick look at the uh, hull integrity I'm Commander, not sure because you need to uh, beef it up a little bit 
the shields are good enough and it's got enough weapons, but it's only got yeah. two class threes and two class twos. Yeah, but that's where I'd run my two frags and a pair of like beams or something. Shields offline. Oh, for general combat, not five got yeah. killing. Yeah, general, oh, general combat. combat. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, really good. There you go. But cool. I did, I did jump on the uh, cheaper yeah, federal so ships. Yeah. So I've got a Fetty drop, Federal Assault, <coughs> Fetty gunship sitting there doing nothing. Yeah. Just got killed by Emma Dors. So what you you got killed? Yeah. What, Genka? My rebuy is 1,086. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, right. How will you survive? Swanky, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's try this. Right, let me know if I'm not level. I'm going to go up as slow as I can. Well, I'm let me know if I... I'm backwards. Well, Hold just... On, you want me to speak? Yeah, come out of turret. Come out of turret. Make sure your handbrake's on. It's on. It's on. Okay. Let me know when you're Bam. ready to, go. you need to start going up. You ready? Yeah, let's go. If you Jeremy start to Clarkson's move at... favorite quote. If you start to move at all, let me know. I'm bouncing around a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah. We're going hold up. On, hold on. Very... Chill, 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 chill. Easy, easy. Chill. Let me get, let me move back forward. Okay, that one there kind of shifted me. I think it's the gravity. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're tilting. Nose up. Yeah, I can see bit. it. Yeah, I can see it. Is that better? Uh, down. I look level. What, front? Yeah, yeah, nose down. There you go, right there. Are you going up? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, lateral thrust up. Yeah, go up. Vertical thrust, not lateral. Yeah. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Yeah. Realign. Yeah. I can hear my tires actually squeal up of your own. Yeah, I'm trying to go up as slow as I can. It's not easy. I've got no power to engines. Yeah, no. My landing gear out. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. just... I think it's just because of the clipping. Would you like me yeah. to clear the area and prepare for yeah, jump? Yeah. between the both of us. Fuck that. Power! Come on, get up there. <laughs> this is like riding in the military on a C-130. Oh, Jesus. Or a C-17. Yeah, let, me know if, let me know if you start to move. Yeah. You can stop at any time and you can reset you. You okay? We're good so far. I'm bouncing around, but we're good. It's literally like being on a boat. Yeah. Okay, okay. My level. Okay, oops. One second, let me readjust. I'll be back. Okay. okay. Good. I wish I could actually get it to move up smoother. Just yeah, I know. It's, I don't think it's anything we can do. No, the thrust is either on or off. Are we moving at all? Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, we are 200 yeah. meters already. We've gone. Yeah. I can hear my tires squealing on your hull. Uh, like, let me know when it's all calmed down. No, it's good. It's good. No, okay, I'll tell I'm just going to external am. cam, see how much more. Oh, we're almost there. Yeah. Yeah, we were, okay. we're going up about... I'm going to turn around very gently. Three meters a second. Yeah. I'm okay. turning around very gently because I can't see where I'm... Hold on a second. When you turn... Yeah? I stay straight, but the vehicle turns under me. Okay. Hold right, I'll hold it. Whoa, 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 whoa. You okay? All right, let's go for it. Okay. All right, there you go. Oh. Okay, there we go. We're good. Okay. You're going to see the ledge coming up, but don't try and jump for it, okay? I can't even see anything. I'm facing reverse. Okay. Well, if you go... Yeah, well, stay where you are. Oh, crap. It's all right. I think it's cool as shit that I can actually hear. The rubber squilling. One. <laughs> this. Okay, okay. Coming okay, up easy, to 300 easy, meters. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. If I fall from here, it's going to be a bad day. Okay. Okay. 
close? Yeah, we're very close, yeah. I'm just, just gonna, gonna double check. To, you're gonna have to get your nose touching whatever ledge and make me as okay. flat as we can because yep. I'm gonna have to jump off backwards with the turret. I can see I can see your ship. Okay, give me okay. uh give me thirty seconds. Let me uh, smoke real quick. Take a take a puff. <laughs> you feeling the pressure? It's going to hit me here in a minute. Yep, because I'm going to have to jump from yours. To no, no, no. I'll I'll gently go. I'll ease over gently. If what you, you fall. do is, is do like at a 45 degree, nose down. Yeah. Okay. Leg, don't don't right, don't jump without telling me. All right, because we're nearly there now. I won't you ready? Jump, I won't jump. Yeah, okay. let's, let's go for it. Okay. Hold on. Just making a slight change. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay. Let me, re let me re oh, let me readjust just because when you do like an axis turn, I yeah. don't turn with the ship. Okay. I stay stationary. Are right, you ready? Nope. Say, so, tell me when you're ready. I will. I'll do. I'll do. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. That ground is a long ways down, man. Yep. It's scary, like, because it's, it's not real, but it's real enough. VR yeah, you would, ready? I'd be freaking out right now. Yeah, let's try it. Easy, 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 easy. Bouncy, little bouncy, bouncy. Hold on. <laughs> I like listening to you guys. Yeah, okay. Like this Almost is no, there. Yeah, okay. This is no joke because I'm. It what, really is because I have to use my hunt to keep the ship dead level. Off the ground. If on I'm all four axes. I'm splat in this SRV. Yeah. And I face in reverse. So I'm looking at a spoiler the whole time. Okay, we count to 400 meters. Okay, he's Whoa! Ooh, that was. Ooh, that, well, was that was close. That was crazy. <laughs> you okay? You were great. Okay, I think we're nearly there now. Let me check. Almost. Yeah, we're almost level with. Head. We're almost level with the ledge. Right, one second, so. One second, one second. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. All right, we're good. All right, let's do this. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, if we die, it was still worth it. 10 out of 10. Do it again. Oh, yep. Oh, oh, okay. Easy, easy. Okay, we're good. All right, you in the center? You in the uh, center of my ship? Uh, uh, close enough. Well, let me see where you are. We're bouncing around enough that I can. Yeah, I'm just going to external cam. I'm a little okay, bit... remember what you can do is. Which way are you pointing? Okay. Because Point remember, on. I've got my fins at the back either side. Gently, 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 gently. Easy, easy. As slow as you can. As slow as you can. To where? Uh, from your perspective, forwards. What do you want me to do? Go nearer to the back of the ship. For? Well, see the fins either side. They will stop you from slipping off sideways. They'll help if you if we're going to tilt. Yeah, but I, I like. Being able to know that I got. Am I really close to the back here? Cause don't get You're in the middle of my ship. Okay, Dead yes, center right. on the top. All right, spoilers blocking my view, sorry. Uh, you ready? No, but let's uh, go for it. Uh, going up a little more. We're almost there. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you ever watch that show on the History Channel, that crab show, that's what it feels like right now. Let me know if, I, if the ship starts to tilt. Roger, roger. Okay, okay, easy. Easy, 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 easy. I'm not moving. Okay, that was rough. That was turbulence. Yeah, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit hairy now. Right, let me see where we are. Right, oh, we're so close. Right now, I, I need to, yeah, I need to maneuver 
to the right because you won't be able to jump from there. Right, right. so I'm going to start. I'm going to start moving. I'll let you know when it stops so I can readjust. Yes, yeah. I'm going to go very, very gently. Here he goes. Okay. It's really slow, I know, but it's all good. I'd rather. I don't want to fall for 475 meters. Because I'll be plummeting pretty, even at. Yeah. Well, you'll be dead instantly. Okay, let me readjust. And don't move while I'm moving. Okay. Stay still. But if you need to readjust, let me know and I'll stop moving. Well, I do. All right, I've stopped. Okay. All right, let me see. Um, shoot. Okay, let me see. I think I got it. Do you want me to see where you are? External cam? If you want to, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. You are, from your perspective, yeah. That's it, gently, that's it. Back to the center, a little more, a little more, a little more forwards, left, left a bit. Whoa, 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 easy. What's the reverse for? <laughs> <laughs> forwards a bit more. I've got plenty of room, man. I've been I've been playing this for 470 meters. Okay, okay right, good. are you happy? Good you happy there? I think we're good, yeah, we're lined up good. Yeah. Right, just... What was that reverse for? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm just uh, stopping to see where we are. Radar's We're almost there now. Radar's like, what the shit are you doing? Ah, <laughs> oh, good. Good, 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 good. All right, okay. okay. Just Let me know when you're ready. Yeah? I think we're good. Well, I'm almost lined up. Oh, Jesus. This is as almost as bad as NASA. Actually, I'm moving with you now. Okay. Okay, well, that's good. Let me see where this spot oh. is. Right. Unfortunately, you're not uh, fa you're facing the wrong way. But if you if you could see yeah. forward, you'd you'd see that we're actually at a level level with the ledge. Right. I'm just going to go up a little bit. Well, okay, I see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on one second. One second. One second. Get out. Of mode. One second. Easy, easy, easy. Don't easy. go turret mode. Don't change anything. <laughs> Stay still. No, no, no. But I got to realign it. Bounce me to the left, to your right. You done? Oh, hold it still. Stop a second. Oh, that ain't good. Easy, easy. You need to go to be very careful. You actually you need to go forwards gently. Okay, you happy there? Stay there. Yep. Let me know when you're good. <laughs> here, well, I think we're good right here. Okay. Make sure your handbrake's on. It's all on. Right, now this is the tricky bit. I've got to go forwards. Okay, well, just be. Okay. Try to get the nose pointed down a little bit when you're going forward. So the ass of your ship will kind of go up high enough where you can point your nose forward. Should be alright. Your ass of your ship will kind of keep me pushed forward, you know what I mean? Yep, I gotcha. So you're on the nose up slightly, yeah? The nose down. Kind of like a helicopter nose, pitch forward. Nose down, okay. You know, the ass of the ship will kind of keep the SRV okay. you know, pushing forward as Gen you're moving yeah, I'm forward. Okay, I'm just a couple of meters away. And your spoiler, I think, has kind of got me up, kind of hooked right now, so... Okay, that's good. We are moving. Yep, stay still. Just need a quick check or something. Okay. External cam. See where we are. I can't believe you this shit, man. Okay. <laughs> this is good fun. Right, almost there. Yeah, it's like a recovery mission already. Didn't even try. Moving Just, very slowly oh, forward. Easy, easy. <laughs> right, I need to go. I'm going up a little bit. You ready? Yep. Oh, 
go rock, you go rock. Easy. Easy, easy. Okay. Back in the center? No, I'm not, but just, just nudge it a little bit. Let's okay. see where you are, because uh, I've got a bit of a tricky maneuver to do in a sec. Okay, hold on then. Yeah. Might need to move up. Yeah, and get towards the center, be better. Let me know when you're done and the handbrake's on. Are you turning around? Might as well. <laughs> you git. <laughs> okay, all right. Don't try to jump yet, right? You can't tell, but that that up there is a real steep slope. That's a long okay, way. You ready? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'm going. I'm going up a bit. Hurry up! Hurry! Easy! 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 <laughs> okay, go. I went nose forward. I was doing okay. the manual. We're still good. Still, still good. A little bit. A little easy. Yeah, looks good. I think I, I'm latched for right now because I can see that we're moving forward pretty good. <laughs> Fuel rats don't got shit on us. This is spelunking, excavation. This is like shit. Like in the hell. Okay, don't, you know. don't try to jump off yet. I just want to check something. Just want to see where we are. They're looking good on the ship. Actually, okay. turning around did pretty good. Did yep. pretty good. I think we are on solid ground, but you're quite high. Yeah, let's, uh, oh, easy. Easy. No, don't drop me too fast. No. I'm moving forwards. As I'm moving forwards, I'm moving slightly down. Okay. All right, I got you. We're still good right now. Just keep it at that pace. Yep. Easy. Oh, shit. Yep, sorry. Oh, damn. Sorry. Oh shit, man, what are you doing? Do you gotta... I'll try it's as light as I can go. Momentum stopped. <laughs> you are. Okay, okay it's still okay. too far. But I'm gonna yeah. go slightly, I'm gonna go slightly down. Okay. Make sure you got four <laughs> pips into shields, okay? <laughs> hey, now, hey, 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 chill, 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 chill. What are you doing? Where'd you go? Going down. No, don't go down. Because I'm not hey, moving look. for some reason. I'm not even moving. I'm no, stuck no, no, in no. the air. What the shit? This is I'm stuck in the air. What? I bet my handbrake has got me stuck in the air. <laughs> I bet my handbrake. Okay, looking good. We're on the final bit. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Don't move. No, 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 no. No, no. You're moving away from me. Look in your look in your thing. In my look, thing. Look at you. Yeah, look at your uh, camera, sweetie. Where are you? Look at your camera, sweetie. I can't see you. Where are you? Yeah. I'm floating in the air because I got a handbrake on and you went down. But I'm still stuck in the air. I tell you what, that is one awesome picture. But this I don't want to take a chance. I'm going back. Yeah, this is Coyote Ugly shit. Or Coyote versus Roadway. You know where you just stand there in the air and you float? Keep coming. There you go. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep coming. Uh, yeah, yeah. Stop. 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 Pull forward a little bit. Teeny bit. Teeny bit. Teeny bit. There. I come up. Up. Yeah, up. Okay. Up. Up, 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 up. Okay, up a little bit more. Up. Okay, now stop. Back. Back a tad. That, that's good. Go away too much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, come back. That's good. That's good right there. Okay. Back up a little. I need Sorry, to see more up. pictures here. Up. Up. I want, to, I want you to hit, at least hit my shields. Come back. Yeah, where'd you want me to... Uh, up, did you say? Yeah, thrust up. Yep. Lateral. Yep. Or vertical, yep. Yep, 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 yep. yep. There. Yep, stop, stop, stop. Okay, that's good. Yep. Okay. All right. Shoot. 
Holy right, shit. I need to get my ship lined up. I'm skew with right. it. If you go down, take it as slow as you can, and I have to let the handbrake on. Or I just stay wherever you leave me. Okay. okay. Right, going down? Okay. Alright. Nope, How's it's that? Not working. It's not working. It's not working. So what you're going to have to do is just keep going forward. And let me jump yeah. off and take some damage. Okay. If I go... F are we in contact? Yeah, we're in contact. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. I don't know what the hell's going... No, stop! Oh, God, we're going down. I don't know what happened. So okay. There we go. Okay. What the fuck is going on? Can you move on my ship if you try to go full? Yeah, I can. I can move. See. Okay. Move. Um. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm locking the handbrake. Now, put your nose down about 30 degrees. And then, oh shit. Okay. Somehow I'm clipped to the ground. I don't know what the hell's going. On. Can I jump off right here? I think. Let me see how far away you are. 114 meters off the ground. It's not that far. Well, hang on, hold it. Wait, 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 wait. I can see your ship. Let me just check something for you. So I think if you go forwards, you should be okay. Because it slopes quite a lot. Quite a lot down. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm just it looking sucks. now. Well, I mean, you're right. I mean, all the way around you is solid ground. Yeah, right. so... I'm gonna go for it. You sure you don't want to see if I can go down a bit more? Yeah, see if you can go down. Let's, maybe I'll do my, my thrusters and see if that'll unlock me as you're going down. So just, okay. just go down as slow as you can. Alright. <laughs> yeah, just keep doing that. You going down? Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, so I have to hit my thrusters to unlock me from the plane. Okay, well, good technique. Okay. I, that's the only way I could think that would work. Yeah, we're not far. Just make sure you don't go backwards when you come off. Go forwards or left or right. Okay. Almost down. Doing yeah. well. 69 meters, that's good. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I need to do an alignment here in a minute. Okay, now it's doing it on its own. Okay, good. Okay, good. After so many me Oh, no, stop. Oh. I'm down. Oh, good times. We're down. Yeah. Roll off. Just go forwards. Yeah, my sensitivity is off. Yay! Oh, my side again. What the fuck? Did I get to my ship? Yes, yeah, to the right. Go right. Yeah, I see it over there. Holy shit. That was good, that was. I must have, I thought I enjoyed that. Did the... Uh, oh, there it is. <clears throat> yes. Oh, how did I miss you? <laughs> you little bastard. It wouldn't land down there. Fucking fucked hard. <laughs> It landed in a good spot up here, though. That's good. You made it in. I about board the ship now. Cool, what up? <coughs> nice. Yay, thank you so much. Thanks for the uh, bird lips. Yeah, too bad we aren't recording. Yeah, it's a shame. We, yeah, that was a, that would have been good. Cause you you got yeah. yourself stuck in one hell of a mess. Yeah. yeah, I was stuck in a hole. See, that's good that we could do that. Hmm. So no, we know we could save each other if we even in a. Be interesting day. to try it again with the shields on. I know we took I took them off, but interesting to see if we can do the same with shields on because I took ten percent damage to the hull doing that. Did you? Did you? Shit. Shit. That's, no, that's all right. It's no problem. We're in a we're in a bubble, so it's fine. No, I mean like we need to minimize that, especially if we're going to be out in the black. We have nothing. Well, that's right. In our yeah, that's why I'm thinking um, whether we could have done that with the shields, but I don't know. Because <coughs> you, you had your shields your on, own? didn't you? Can you can you repair your own uh, hull with the Paralympics? Oh shit! There's a ship over here. What's this? 
federal security. <coughs> yeah, you can ignore them. You can, with the auto field maintenance unit, only do mod modules, but you can't repair yeah, your own, yeah. your hull. You need repair limpets. Yeah, but can you repair yourself with repair limpets? Yes, you can, yeah. So you would, you would have to sacrifice being able to repair your modules versus your hull to be the person to repair everybody else's hull. Well, at the moment, with the configuration that we've got, yeah. But, uh, there are options. Because if you get, we've got, we've got two AFMs, you can get rid of one AFM, then you can put in a, um, a, a repair limpet controller. But the problem is, though, you need a cargo space. Yeah. I found That's that the hard way. So you would have to sacrifice shields. Shield. That is, yeah, AFM that is one. You could say, yeah. yeah, you could sacrifice shields. Jumping yeah, take the, three, yeah. Uh, take the three shields. It'd be interesting to see, because really out in the black, you don't necessarily need shields. Unless you hit a high G planet and you go oopsie. Well, yeah, there is that. Depends so on how hard you go oopsie. I mean, 3D shields would only do so much. See, right now I'm at 80% hull on my shields, or on my hull, because I was pooping around. Yeah. Hit the ground like a stupid. I see you. you guys got any more pictures or what? No. Did you take any more pictures? No, I think we we're a bit too. Uh, what happened was, was as we come, as we started going up, Would you like me we got to, to the ledge. The area I was going forwards. As I went forwards, Swanky stayed behind in midair, literally floating in midair. Yeah, like the coyote uh, does. You know, off the ground. You know when a coyote cuts off the or the rabbit? Yeah. The end of the brain. And fucking Elmer Fudd cuts the branch and a tree falls, but the branch stays in the air. I was still in my SRV floating 479 meters above the ground, floating in the air. It was about 75 meters ahead of me. <laughs> so he had to call me back and I had to reverse back under him yeah. and then go back up. Yeah, and then unlock my landing gear and then keep hitting my thrusters every time he would, I would lose traction with him and just float in the air I'd have to hit my thrusters to break that false physics mm. false physics I like, I like that, it's good yeah I was doing some like Looney Tune shit like that movie uh, Roger Rabbit yeah that was tricky it was good fun we'll have another go at something like that just in case oh something smells good just going to uh, Money Gateway to uh, repair Busy area, this, uh, isn't it? Where is this at? Where, where am I now? A station, local station. Oh, there's a local. Oh man, I love yeah. this. Yeah, more than a gateway. Creed, I appreciate you uh, convincing me to between you and uh, Zoomski and, and uh, GSX. Oh, so, your uh, yeah. computer's working better. Oh shit! I have no graphical uh, issues now. You can tell by the pictures. Yeah, pictures are good. They're, well, they're not good quality, but they're not shit. Exploded terrain yeah. everywhere. To be honest, I think they're really good because um, the background is because uh, it, it basically is white with a little bit of grain. I mean, the detail on that picture is pretty. Well, that cool. was because EDFX. I've got it set to the low. Uh, I've got it set to performance uh, interstellar black, so mm. it makes everything have like a black tone. So my con everything in my shit just pops out. I never did figure out how to get that EDFX working right. Well, what you, what it is is it keeps sending you to the reshade site, mm. and it's the latest reshade, which is 3.0. Right, and it, it and it doesn't seem to be compatible with the. No, it's not. Just pick. You can go uh, as an archive one previously. And it yeah, works. you have to you have to hunt for it on Google and find it on Media Finder. But what's the whole point with? The latest CD or the latest reshade or whatever. Reshader three, but you have to know how to use reshade oh. and manually do it. With uh, EDFX, it has presets, and it only works with reshade 2.0. Yeah. That must that must be why I couldn't get it to work because it kept redirecting me to that. Yeah, uh, yeah you get stuck in a loop. Yeah. All you have to do is take the zip file. When that thing pops up, it says, "We're sorry due to legalities." 
you have to put this in yourself. You can't because of Windows 10 or some bullshit. I'm being interdicted. What the fuck? I have nothing on me. Motherfuckers. Well, you dress as a Raider pirate. They've probably seen you. Thought, hello, he looks a bit dodgy. Let's let's search him. Well, I'm just going to boost his ass. Flight assist off. Boost in one direction. Wait till my shit cools down because I I instigated the interdiction. Boom. Take off. Can't keep up with. Well, I'm up to 53.6 million, so I guess I could safely go out and get my ass now. Yeah. Have some money for rebuys. Now, what I like about it is, is once I finally figured that shit out, I unzipped the folder to the folder it told me to do it because if you pay attention yeah. it tells you exactly the folder to put it in on your system because it's already scanned your system and knows exactly where it needs to go so you just follow the instructions on that little window and it forces itself to where you cannot minimize it you just move it out of the way a little bit go and open up your uh you know your pc folder your documents folder or whatever you've got the download saved into take the zip file drag it over to the uh, either the framework, you unzip it to the framework, or you just drag it over to the some other fucking subfolder, and it'll automatically do it for you. Because all you do is click on the install button, it'll go, Oh shit, we found it. Do you want to install it? And then it installs it, boom, it works. You change your HUD on the fly, that's the presets, you know. Um, but you can add your own shit if you want to get fancy with it. Well, I just wanted to increase the graphical. Yeah, see, the way I, the game looks. If I turn my shit all the way up to ultra, are you ready and to turn jump? it up to the uh, the uh, they call it max performance, uh, or it's just all it is is like a retexturing. That's what it does. And when I'm looking at a star, it's blinding, like literally blinding. But when you have a nav panel, that's like the holographic nav panel that goes over it. You can see through the nav panel where it, it's like it's almost tinted. It almost kills the blindingness of it. It's it's kind of cool how they add those little details to it. Hmm. Which yeah, which uh, shade is he using? Right now, I'm just using the lowest one. I'm using um. Oh, you talking about the shaders for the program, or the yeah, the, yeah, thanks. Using deep shade, uh, deep space feeling. I'm using the interstellar black performance. Just. Uh, the blue for me is just too. Yeah, I, I didn't like, never like, never did like them. Now I can change it to the ultimate black one, the one that's at the very top. Oh, that blue, that super dark blue one that they got. Yeah. I can't stand that one. So I thought, well, you know what? See, I mean, if I find a really nice um, uh, ring thing here in a minute or some shit. <laughs> I'll let you see what it looks like. I'll take some pictures with the ultra setting on mine without actually changing the settings inside the game. Leave mm. all my settings the way they're set now, but I can do reshade and it'll make them look like I've got it set to ultra settings. Yeah, some of it, yeah, so some of it works differently for different graphics cards in your own personal settings. But, uh, it's cool. Well, I don't think I would have to worry about it because I've got pretty high end system, but I'd like to get. Yeah some better textures out of the game if I could. Almost definitely. Okay. Yeah, it does, it does it really nice. Did you ever play Skyrim and add the mods for the HD graphics? Well, I would I would play Skyrim, I'd mod it heavily, and then I couldn't get the game to work after that, and then I wouldn't play Skyrim. Yeah, well, with, it's kind of the same way with what you all did when you helped me with the video card. You have to do one mod at a time, see if it works. And if it... Yeah, that Nexus mod manager or whatever it uses. Yeah, you you add a mod, you play with it for for like an hour or so. If the mod runs stable, then try another mod. And then if it crashes, then you can see if it's a compatibility issue or if it's a if it's just the two mods. Uh, your system can't run both mods at the same time. Nine times out of ten, it's like an ID conflict, some bullshit ID conflict because somebody will make a mod. Then they'll have like a item number with like 
10,001. And then you have another mod that will use that same ID number. And it, when you try to load them at the same time, it crashes. Because it doesn't know which one to load. Yeah. It changes the hue of the, uh, the station stuff quite but a lot. See, I like the black because the way that they, they popped out the colors with the white, the everything looks like it has a glow to it. Like a nice glow to it as if the human eye would actually see it instead of just a white dot. It has like a hue. Everything has a hue to it. But the blue is more for if you go down to a planet, like an icy planet, and it's got fog sitting in the crevices. It's nice that you can change it on the fly as well. Yeah, yeah. I like that too. Because it's not really... It's not really post-processing, it's just texture, re it's just retexturing to make it look like it's better, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the one that works best for me is the deep space feeling high-end effects. That works well, quite what well What I noticed me. about the mid and the high, it puts a, a like a peripheral focus on the, on the corners, it makes them fuzzy, like you're kind of looking in a, like a, like a bubble, so that, because like if you really had like a peripheral, you know what I mean? Because like my FPS sits down at the bottom, if I said it's a mid-range black or high-range black, I can't even read it, it's just a green fuzzy spot. It sometimes it puts a funny bloom on some of the yellows, but... Well, I've got my bloom turned off, too, so that it might not do that. Okay, I gotta go find where I can get an Asp Explorer. Uh, like, uh, stars, what I like about it is, is... They're so bright that it's like a sunburst, like it would normally be if you were looking at it at that distance, not... You wouldn't be able to see it clearly. Yeah. You have some sort of tinted windshield or something. Hold on a second. Let me shut my door so I don't keep the wife as much. Yeah, it was quite fun that. Uh, it's a shame you should take some more pictures of Good. I think uh, both both panicking a little bit and worried about it. Oh. Yeah, but how far is that system from where I'm at? Dayu... Dayu Gwandry? Let's see. Alright, you guys hear me okay? Yep, you're fine. Alright, good. I'm trying to keep it down to the pad there. That way if this girl is But I'll probably get excited anyways and start talking. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, I think now we're in the station, I've just got a couple of bits and pieces to do, I'll probably uh, call it a night here because it's only 6 in the morning for me. Roger. I'll tell you it was quite interesting, now I've put it onto that one, you can see the difference immediately with the uh, stellar clouds etc. Yeah. The colours are so much, uh, are much more vibrant. Which it's quite one amazing. Is uh, well, if I take a snapshot first, come, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, which one was it? Uh, I can't remember. I'll sh sh show you in a sec. Here we go. Quick snapshot. That one. So I think it was that one. Ah, 
I've just found a button which turns the reshade re on or off. Yeah. Yeah, you can set hotkeys if you... Uh, no, I just found it by pure accident. Yeah, down at the bottom where the tabs are where FX and HUD come My mine, is, mine is... No, mine is... Uh, Home key? Function 12. Oh, is it? Yeah, if you go to in-game hotkeys, you can set it to... Yeah, I've already there. done it myself. I've done it myself. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I just uh, did the shot of this so you can get some idea. There's a little bit of the station and colour. Yeah, it's quite cool. I mean, mine comes on automatically. There you go. Are you ready to jump? Right, so that's the color with the re re Fine. reshade. You can see how vibrant it looks. Yeah, one sec. And I'll just uh, now I'll sh virtually the same shot without the ricochet. Sometimes with the real shade, it's a bit of a compromise between stellar, the stellar colours and the look and the internals. Because inside the station, it kind of gives some of the colours a little bluey, purpley, hazy, which you could probably tweak. Oh, dear. Oh, none of that. Mm. Yeah, 5.31 a.m. You might as well just stay up for the day then. <laughs> well, it's uh, New Year's Eve tomorrow. Ah, stay at home. Well, actually, it's New Year's Eve now, we're talking about. No, I can't be wasted for the rest of the day. Obviously. So, uh, have you guys got uh, good stuff planned? Yeah, I'm going to get a chromed out Asp Explorer. Excellent. Yeah. See, I like our man who's got his priorities. Yeah, and i got to figure out what I'm going to call it. Ah, uh, million dollar question. Looks like. This is what my card looks like right now with the full effects. The very top one. Right. Oh, yeah, you want to ask me to That's nice. Yeah, nice picture. Oh, that's bird lips. I think that's an anaconda. Yeah. Or is that your new ship, Swanky? That's not me. Or is that a... I can't tell what that is. Is that a python? This is not a picture. That's what mine looks... That's I'm not quite sure. It does look like a python, but back it, in the... It could be either. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Let me get my zoom I button on I think it. it's a python, but it could be an anaconda. I don't know. It's an anaconda. It's got some funny shadows at the uh, back end, but yeah, I was zoomed in on it. It's an anaconda. Oh, okay. Alright, for some reason it was kind of looking like a python to me. Like the nose yeah, is too pointy. Similar, similar shape from a distance, aren't they? 
Yeah. But it's a lot, I can tell by where the cockpit is with the longer nose. Whereas in, um, Python's got the cockpit up in the front, the Anaconda's kind of the centre. Bedtime, Siggy. Love you. No. Unable to comply. We're not able to hear you if you're talking. That's with my 560 Ti card with reshade set to max, with my settings set to low to medium. That picture right there is what low to medium graphics with reshade at max settings will look like. You can see how many frames per second I got. I got 37 and I'm in the fucking uh, station. Not too bad compared to what you were doing. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad at all compared to. Yeah, you can still see some choppy lines and edges. But. You can even see the color rusty detail now actually in this kit, Ravager kit, instead of it just looking like a bunch of little polygons just slapped to the side of my, like the spoilers look like dog shit when I first seen it. I was like, that's ugly, but it was the best. I liked the way that it did. It was the only one that could give me the spikes on the front and not be just sticking up randomly off of the scoops and not cover the whole damn thing with a cage. You know? It still looked like I used bits and pieces to put it together while I stuck out in the black for months on end. Kind of like a Ravager, kind of go crazy a little bit. And Yeah, ten times better than it was before. Good. So what do you think about that? Yep. Yep. You like that picture? That's what the graphic setting on EDFX set all the way up to, to uh, deep space feeling high end effects black edition. I could, do, ship. I could do deep space feeling performance that's, mode black edition, which would probably. That's good. That's Ooh, I like it. I like the lights flicker. Oh, that's even better. It tones down the brightness of the stigmatism. And you can actually see like where the instrument panel kind of flickers sometimes a little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's another, there's another, there's another setting in the NVIDIA control panel in the uh, 3D settings near the bottom. Uh, yeah. Called clamp on. Remember we done that? Yeah, one second. Check as well. What is it? Um, yeah, I'm just uh, one step. 
just one step behind you, one sec. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Basically, with the uh, with a lot of the settings, they only come into play when you've got a graphics card that can handle it. But if it's on, you will still try to work it, and it overworks the GPU unnecessarily. So this particular one. Hang on, work. Uh, one sec. down on the uh, texture filtering negative um, load bias yeah change it to uh, clamp okay else and, uh, um, well, as I said one setting at a time so far at the moment you're happy with the way it's working so that should help as well okay. and um, once you're happy you're kind of happy with the quality now which is good Quality, I'm impressed with. Good. So, uh, what's your frame rate inside the station? Uh, it was 37 in that picture. Oh, that's good. Right, that's give fine. Me, give, me, give me one second. Right now it's 39, 41. That's fine. That's fine. And I'm running reshade at deep space black edition. Or performance. Good. And I run it at 42 frames. And the, I That's love fine. the way the lights in the cloud. I mean, there's some things I can tell that should be round at a distance. Like radar dishes. Some of them are kind of blocky. Oh, we can. Yeah, there's a couple of things for that as well. But the smoothness up close where it really matters for me right now, which I know. When I get that bigger card put in here, it's going to be like, holy shit, night and day, you know, I'm going to see details yeah. on shit that I didn't even know was there. I'm going to see like light bulbs and the elements inside the light bulbs. I've, I've seen the pictures of people posting shit with 1060 or higher cards. Yeah. You guys able to hear me now? Yes. Yes. Yay. Uh, hey guys. Hey, What's you up? Okay? Oh, not much. Yeah, I tried to say that uh, Dyke Wandry is a system I use as my home system when I'm in the bubble because everything's discounted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm heading there now. It's about 20 jumps, but I've got most yeah, of them so out of the way. Uh, Mim and I found a system called Nine. It seems to have almost every damn thing in it too. I think you can even buy Corvettes there. Oh dear! Wow, forty-two frames in holding. Um, That's fine. Forty-two frames inside a station is. That means that you should get an easy sixty out. <laughs> wow. I said it is. Leave, leave these for the next sort of couple of sessions. See how it all goes, and then. If, you, if you, you'll notice the uh, the blocky bits and the, there's a couple of settings you can make less okay. is more sort of thing but you're kind of reaching the max now you don't want to push it too hard yeah how's yeah, your capping yeah. and plateauing good what's the heat like at your pc now better well i mean it's nowhere near as warm because it's not running that extra card good i mean i don't feel the heat anywhere as much I've got a window crack, so cool air's coming in straight down on the PC anyways. But now I don't have to have the windows open as much, so I don't have as much of a draft. Doesn't so feel like a head doesn't feel like a hair dryer anymore. No, no, it's good, it's good. And it's not as loud. So because you know, I don't have the extra two fans running. Cool. Oh Creech, you fancy doing a class six next time? Oh, we could give it a whirl. Oh man, I am running out of...
Hopefully this is a scoopable star, otherwise I'm going to have to go economical. Oh, I can't even make the jump. Alright, time to find a scoopable star. Ooh, ooh. I need to go find some alien Thargoid shit, since we're not going out this morning. Alright, uh, let's drop it to economical and see what we got. That's what I need to do. Go find some alien shit. Well, that, um, that site I gave you, that link, if you look at the bottom, yeah. Got some gives you all the alien sites and stuff. I gotta figure out how to get back in touch with Amazon chat because now they've shipped it, so there's a courier, and I need to get figure out how to get in touch with the courier. What, do you know? Do you know the courier? Here's the thing right here. It says ask seller, but that's for only one of the two products that I'm having to ship. No, it's not telling me who the courier. It's telling me it's USPS or, or uh, United States Postal Service. But I've got to figure out how to get in touch with them. Well, they got to have a site, haven't they? They have a website with a number yeah. and a contact number. Well, you can just go to your local post office and they can probably help you out. Yeah, I probably could. You can probably find it here online too. And I know how to talk to them because I need to figure out how to get the package address redirected. Because Amazon said that it can be changed once, once it goes into shipping stacks. Because right now it's going to an old address because I didn't double check it before I uh, hit send for confirmation on the purchase. And I've moved recently. You have a forwarding address set up yet, or no? No. Not for, not for this yet, no. Because U UPS, USPS will just not even knock, they'll just sit on the damn porch and leave it there. Oh yeah, they don't care. They dropped off like Five hundred dollars worth of Amazon stuff for me, and just left at my front door. Bless their cotton socks. Warning. And they make it almost—they hide how you can get in touch with them behind a bunch of shit. What is bog spaniels? Just a rare good in Momus? <laughs> a slimy pet?
get stuck on that at one o'clock in the damn morning Eastern time. I'll be stuck on the phone with them or on chat with them for two hours trying to get it. I'll just deal with this tomorrow. There'll be somebody named Rahimi from somewhere anyways. Because, I mean, the last person I talked to, Mim was on. And it was a guy named, what was it, Rajif? You know what his name was, man? I think so. Yeah, actually, yeah, it was something. And he was like the coolest dude in the world. He was just like, just, well, you know, the best way to do this is cancel it and reorder it. But we'll have to wait to reimburse you for the first order once we receive it. Meaning that once the courier sent it back to them as a canceled order. So that means I'd have to come up with like, 300 and something dollars for a $150 purchase and wait two weeks until they can float my money back to me, you know what I mean? I said, I really can't afford that and I'm not worried about the speed of the shipping because they told me they would give me overnight shipping for free if I did that. So I could literally get it within two days. But I was like, I don't really care about the speed and I can't really afford to do that. So can you change the address? They're like, well, we can't change the address because you were pretty speedy about ordering it. So you ordered it early in the day and it already processed. So you have to wait till it goes to a courier. And once somebody picks it up for delivery, which is, in this case is the United States Post Office, then we can contact them and have them make a change. And if there's any charges, we'll reimburse you those charges. I was like, damn. And it was my mistake. And you're gonna reimburse me for all this shit because of my mistake. So I was like, okay, cool beans. Thank you very much. Ooh. Ah. Sometimes their shit's a little bit more expensive on the shipping and whatnot. But their customer service is worth it. In my opinion. Most of the time. If I can't find a better deal. Hey man, right now I'm pushing 48, 50 frames right now. And I'm still running reshade. That's and perfect. That's good. The, what they call it? Deep Space Performance Black Edition. Instead of the uh, uh, glitter sparkles edition. Yeah, I know. I have a 500 million credit scoop on my condo, too, I think. That was pretty crazy how quick it fills up. Yeah. After getting one and having one, I, it's like I don't want any more small fuel scoops at it. I want the biggest, the best that you can get. Yeah, if I can go around the star to my next target and be full, I'm happy. And usually I just, even if it's not even behind the star, I can be full. Yeah. But that's why I'm flying. You guys were talking earlier. It's a anaconda. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell from the angle. It looked like one, and then I kind of looked towards the front of it. I was like, ah, it kind of looks like a python, too. But... Yeah, they're pretty similar. Did we lose Mem? No, I'm here. No, I am uh, was deep in thought. I was just uh, looking at something the uh, on the Orca. Deep oh, in you're thinking about it in the Orca, huh? <laughs> what you uh, taking out on exploration? Well, at the moment, the uh, the Asp is going gonna, is gonna to be the one, but I'm just checking at the... Uh, suddenly dawned on me on the Orca, on those... Remember, you got the, great, uh, the five slot. And the six slot, which you, can, which you can only put passenger stuff in and modules. Yeah. You could actually put a cargo rack in there. Yeah. 
So we've got a cargo rack in there, just a small one. Are you thinking about limpets? Yeah, um, I've got the auto field maintenance unit, which you should take. But the uh, again, just like it is with the ASP, it's sort of like one short. The yeah. only thing I can think of that I could get rid of, which I don't need per se, is a shield generator. That's risky. Yeah, I know. I know, but I've already even we we had a little play around uh, yesterday and today, and obviously with a uh, with the AFM, it's great. You can repair your modules, but you get any hull damage. That's it. You can't repair. Yeah, that's it. Scare the crap out of myself. I went in too close to a sun. Ninety-eight uh, percent. Luckily, it was only two percent damage, but that's at mm. thirty thousand out. Yeah, it does kind of make you think. See, obviously, a shield in that respect wouldn't have helped you at all. But oh, if you oh. had uh, repair lim repair limpets, plus you can synthesize them as well. I think, oh, okay. Well, when I left, I don't think they had the repair limpets yet. Mm. Yeah, the last time I went out, they didn't have any of that stuff. But they, they got it now, and it kind of seems good to use it. Yeah, I've been out for six months. That's oh, really? why. That's why I have a second account. <laughs> yeah, That's why I'm thinking about getting a second account. Because then well, I can the stay, in the, stay in the bubble on the main account. Off. Yeah, it's actually a really good deal right now. So, yeah, it works out about what, 16 English pounds, about what, 22 bucks American? Yeah, roughly. What am I doing? We'll see. Alright then, guys. I'm going to love you, leave you. It's coming to six in the morning here. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Right. Yeah, right, Swanky, you have a good yeah. time playing around. And I just make sure if you're, going to, if you're going to do any changes or anything, one change at a time and take note what you've done. So basically what you've got now is your base. Yep, yeah. so don't change any. Just do one change at a time and take note of what you've done so you can always go back. Yep, and just okay. back. Cool. I appreciate it, man. Right, no problem. All right, Creed. Good night. Good night, everyone. All right, we'll see you. Yep. Bye bye. Yeah. I'll find out how to turn this thing off. There it is. <laughs> All right, let's get out of this ship and get something worth flying. Nope. Bouncing this thing in.
You find yourself a ship yet? I'm in the process of fitting one out right now. Oh, you're gonna run the ass, but alright, cool. Yeah. I miss flying mine just because the anaconda feels like such a yacht. Shields offline. Shields online. I wanted to take it out, but I, I got a better rolls with the anaconda, so the jump range is much further. Yeah, it was gonna be between the asp and the orca. I really, really wanted to do the orca, but uh, I'm gonna go with the chrome theme explorer build, so we're gonna... I bought the chrome themes for the ASP and the commander pack and all that crap in the SRV, so it's going to be all chromed out, so it's got to be all matching. Very weird like that. I think it looks good chrome, especially with some of the uh, lighting backdrops. It really changes the effect of the ship. Yeah. And then I'm going to have to go work with Felicity and tell her to fix me up. If I could give you my data, I would. Yeah, I'll just do a quick road to riches and I'll probably have enough. Thought about going as close as you did to the star, but that scares me. I'm on the search for a Earth-like with rings, and I've been unsuccessful for six months now. Oh, yeah? I can't find one. I found Waterworlds, but 
no earth likes. It's my goal with my trip out here. Nancy Jones, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Yeah, plug in a road to riches and see if it comes up with anything near you. Now you're in trouble. Bird lips, do not visit summer. You will die. Don't visit what? Don't visit Australia in summer. Why not? Because it's fucking hot. Like, fucking no, baby. hot. I live in Arizona, man. No, I used to it. live in Arizona. What part you live in? Uh, Phoenix. Oh, okay. I used to live in... Well, I used to live all over the place. Tempe, Chandler, Maricopa, all over. Oh, okay. I don't know if you know I-10 and Warner, but that's where I'm at. I-10 and Warner, yep. Ahwatukee? Or, not quite yes, there. Yes, sir. Yeah. I used to uh, work for a lo local water company. My route was out in Ahwatukee. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. I, I work over at uh, Earnhardt Ford. Oh, okay. Yep. But yeah, the heat, that's nothing. Many years ago, though. An average day in in summer for us, sitting up around the 104, 105 Fahrenheit, that's average. Average? That's a low for Arizona. <laughs> in summer, we average about 110 Fahrenheit. I'd say, I'd say about 45. <clears throat> Uh, I'm not sure to be honest with you. I don't know the conversion. Google is my friend. About 43 degrees. <clears throat> yeah, pretty warm. The worst I've ever worked in outside doing an extension and a carport on a house was 131 Fahrenheit. Holy shit. Yep. 55 degrees. Never again. Never again. It was so hot that, because I was working with my dad, and it was so hot that you couldn't even string a sentence together. It's because your brain is cooking. Yeah, exactly. Like, and that was in the shade, 55 in the shade. So, yeah, never again. Never, 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 never die. That's pretty wild. I think the hottest we've had here, our record was like 123 or 124, and that was like 10 or 12 years ago. It's still fucking hot. Oh yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, I'd rather, um, down where I used to live, down in Newcastle, which is near Sydney. <clears throat> Um, about an hour and a half drive north. Um, we used to have, we used to have hot summers, but they were usually around the thirty C, thirty five C, which is like, I don't know, we'll call it 9, 85, 90 Fahrenheit kind of thing. 
and um, that wasn't too bad. But in winter, it got nice and cold, like single digits, and it was like, yeah, computers running awesome, car runs awesome. <laughs> Oh, I need this rain to fuck off so I can go down to the shop. I'm not walking down there in the rain. Get an umbrella. Oh, uh, buddy, the woman has a tendency of taking them to work and then forgetting about them. So all three of our umbrellas are currently at her work. That sounds about right. Yeah. Oh, so um, what did we work out was um, the best federal ship for um, fighting Thargoids. Drop. Assault. Gun. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Handy. The only one I only one I know to use is the Corvette. That's it. <laughs> I haven't played with any of the other ones. All the videos I've seen, people are talking about using the T-10s just to basically face tank the thing. The problem that you come up with the T-10 is that you can't maneuver it. That's what they keep saying, yeah, the maneuverability sucks. Yeah. Sorry, bud, I just had to turn you down a bit. That's fine, yeah. My ears were bleeding. I can turn it down on my end. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I can do it. Marshall's saying the assault ship has the best hull capabilities. Hmm. Interesting. Well, the droppy and the gunship, their hull mass are both at 580, but you go to the assault and it's 480. The gunship's got the highest base armor, though, of 630. I don't know, because the large hard points they're underneath it, aren't they? Mm. Fuck it, I'm gonna have a look at the assault ship because it's got the best maneuverability and that's what I need. Wow, I'm watching you right now, Creed, and the menu items, or the menu itself has changed completely since the last time I was in a space station. Oh, you... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta, no, come, I gotta come up with a ship name. Ooh! Can I pick it? Um... That depends. Shippy McShip face? No. Um... Best haul, he said it has the best haul capabilities and it's the most maneuverable. Oh, yeah. Um, how many people are currently watching your stream? Nine. Nine. Put it to the stream. Oh, I don't know. That's also dangerous. Yeah, but you know, you can always, like, you know, delete the offensive stuff or, you know, Give them one of the three warnings that I've used two of. <laughs> Name a tombstone. Mm -hmm. Well, I used to have a vulture named Titan Uranus. Oh, jeez. Hey, no, Uranus? No. Well, yes, you're correct, Uranus. It was the name of my two favorite celestial bodies in uh, the Sol system. Hmm. It's just the name good. of. Um, yeah, it's just the name of some uh, celestial bodies, FDev. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> what do you plan oh, yeah. on doing with the ship? It's what, mine? Strictly, oh, yeah. an, strictly an explorer. Strict, help this this is my explorer, exploration account. It's going to be strictly exploring. Fast Rider. Um, Star Chaser. No, isn't that the name of um, Blind Pew's Condor? Oh, is it? I hope not. Yeah, I is think it? it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna have to look this up now.
the Swedish pagan. Yeah, going and raiding. Oh, land. it is Star Chaser. You're right. Yeah, I used to watch a fair bit of Pew. Yeah, I like watching his stuff. He he's the more entertainment, ver like variety of um, elite buddy YouTuber. Space ship. Name. I don't know. Either he runs multiple accounts with the same setup, or he just plays way too much because he can be like twenty thousand light years out, and the next day he's in, you know, a normal bubble system. Ah, see, I, I think I've worked that out. I think he'll go out and he'll record probably five or six videos, and then he'll fuck off somewhere else, and that's why he's got content for over the week or the fortnight kind of thing. <laughs> Like, he might not even be in that place when the video is uplo uploaded. Yeah, that's true. Because you got to remember, he's still got to do time to, like, do the text-to-speech and all that crap as well. <clears throat> constellation. Call it the Constellation. Or, one of my personal favourites for an exploration ship, the Vagabond. Yeah. Well. I'm not going to name it right now. It's going to be called the Nameless at this point. Just name it Nameless. Peacock. <laughs> Battlestar. No. Barbara. New Beginning. Actually, that's fitting. Name it Polar Pop. <laughs> Albatross. That's actually pretty good. Albatross? Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Just because, you know, what the bird is capable of doing. Oh, yes. I mean, from what I understand, they can practically go around the whole world without ever flapping their wings. Mm. They ride the, the drifts off the wave or the wind gusts off the waves of the ocean. Yeah, they'd probably die of fatigue by then. Well, most likely, yeah. What's the name of the geese that fly over the Himalayans? Don't or not the Himalayans, uh, Mount Everest, sorry. Let me look that up real quick. Maybe yeah, you can not name a clue. After them. Call it the Determination. I'm literally just looking at a spaceship name generator. A spaceship name generator? There's such yeah. a thing? Oh yeah, they do heaps of stuff, like, um... Like character names for any books you're writing, or huh. serial killer names, and pop culture shit, and yeah, heaps of stuff. Stargazer. Mm. Dauntless. I always like Dauntless. Good, strong name. Would you like me to clear the area? <laughs> Called the bar-headed goose. The goose? World's highest bird migration. They I can don't fly know. at 23,000 feet, no problem. I've seen videos of people getting their pet birds high. Does that count? They get pretty high. No. <laughs> Oh, phone's all the way over there! Mm -hmm. Oh, it's under... 8 hours... to, uh, 2018 for me. 
And you're not drinking yet? No, I, I don't drink as much as I used to. Well, what happened? I thought you said you just came back from a drinking binge. No, my housemate did. Oh, that's right. I went to a Christmas party a few nights ago and, uh, well, before Christmas, obviously. But, um, yeah, I, I think I had five, uh, wh whiskey and colas. And that's, that's literally it. I got better things to do with my time than get drunk. Five? Yeah. I'd be fucking drunk as hell. Seriously? Fuck, you're a lightweight. I guess. I haven't been able to be, like, get properly drunk without mass quantities of tequila since high school. And I hate going out because I always end up having to play the parent, you know? When you're out with a group of friends and they get too drunk and then you start sobering up quicker. And you have to fucking look after them sort of thing. Yeah. I hate having to do that. I'm the friend who goes out and doesn't drink and drives everyone home. Eesh. Bad luck. No. I mean, I guess. I just, I drink when I get back home, but I'd rather see them get home safe. Eh, yeah, true. I'd just rather not drink and leave them to their own devices. Yeah, that's bad news. No, well, if I don't see it, it's not my problem. <laughs> they know what they're in for, they're big kids. Oh, I looked up the uh, Pilots Federation rep. They technically control no systems. So why do we need rank with them? I don't know. Like, that's a point of contention on the forums. But from what I can see, and I've closed the tab, of course I... F One sec. Or why do they... Or why are they giving us rep for killing Thargoids, though? I don't know. Uh, allegiance, independent, government, democracy, state, none. Home system is a question mark. Controlling, zero. Presence, zero. Is player faction, no. That's literally all the information there is. And that's on EDDB. To be determined. Yeah. They'll be at Raxler. You watch. <laughs> Rexla. Yep, the, the place that haunts my fucking dreams. Because I still haven't fucking found it yet. Nor will you. I am. Um, that's not very supportive, Creed. I know, but it doesn't exist in the game yet. Yes, it does. I'll come F -Dev, out. F Dev have confirmed it's in game and it's reachable by players. And they are amazed at how many people have just foghorned their way past it. I'm pretty sure they haven't said that last comment. They said honked. <laughs> I call it foghorning. Because it's. Ah. Oh, federal ships look good in white. Anaconda looks good in white, too. Yeah, I've got the white paint job. I've also got Black Friday. Glad I jumped on that one. All my ships on my other count are white. That's racist. Oh, please. <laughs> Depends on who you ask, it could be uh, white privileged. Well, it would be privileged, wouldn't it? Because it's on his main account. Ah! <laughs> Got me there. Um. Uh, trying to get inspiration to actually build this fucking federal thing.
Also trying to justify the expenditure parts. <clears throat> I should just build another adder. weird hearing you say I just thought about this that you have eight hours to the new year and here I am mm. a whole day in eight hours hmm because I'm in the future yeah it's pretty pretty crazy flatter flat earth yeah flat earth That's oh good I'm... god I pray I pray that you're being a little bit facetious oh yeah I'm glad. I'm very glad to hear that. I wouldn't be playing Elite Dangerous if I believed that. Oh, I don't know. Come on. 40,000 light years out exploring random planets. Yeah? Why not? I wouldn't be exploring flat planets. Need to come up with a different theory just to mess with them. Like, well, what I if think... it's a donut shaped? Right. I think realistically, if it was flat, there wouldn't be literally a whole day's difference between time zones. Yeah. It might be just a couple hours. Hmm. <laughs> and then you've got the fact that people have gone up in like, like James May went up in a U-2 spy plane and you could see the fucking curvature of the earth and it's like, eh, well, seriously? Right. Well, I've jumped out of an airplane at 15,000 feet and I could see the curvature of the earth, let alone if I was at, you know, 100,000 feet. I couldn't imagine what that looks like. Do you ever plan on going skydiving? Again? Uh, I've been six times now, so probably, yeah. Well, next time you go, if you see a first time, right, and you want to put the fear in them, <clears throat> just say, did you know that you don't actually need a parachute to go skydiving? When they look at your puzzled and stuff, you go, but you do need one if you want to do it again. Did you catch that? They raised freaking shit themselves. <laughs> Last time I went, though, there was some lady who clearly was panicking the whole way up in the airplane. It was completely silent. She was pale as a ghost. <laughs> now, their whole thing with the with skydiving, at least where I go um, down near Tucson, is once you're up in the air you have to leave the airplane because the FAA won't allow them to land because there isn't safety regulations for passengers on the plane. Ah. So once you're on the plane and it takes off, you're jumping out. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Yeah, I've heard of a story of a guy who, uh, he was freaking out a bit and he had his hands on the doorway. Uh, it was a comedian, I'm trying to remember his name. He had his hands on the doorway and he's like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And the guy who he was strapped to just yells in his ear, Hey, what's wrong with your chute? And he instantly puts his hands to the chute going, Huh? And then out the door. I've seen that. And I've seen where they karate chop the hands of the people holding the door. So it forces them to let go and leave. <laughs> I like my one because, yeah, they'd be screaming the entire way down. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, oh, they go God. to look and they're like, what do you mean? And then all of a sudden they're out the airplane. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know how I'd go in a plane. I can handle heights because I, I used to do exterior cladding on high rises. Um, as long as I was on the scaffolding, I was fine. Anytime they want to go out and harness and hang off the side of the building, <laughs> not a chance. 
couldn't pay me enough to do it. Well, what's interesting about uh, skydiving is you reach terminal velocity so quickly that it doesn't feel like you're actually falling. You just yeah, feel ground. like you're there. The ground's just coming up quickly for a hug. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I really need to stop fucking around and just go and sit in a res... Just bloody get my fucking elite rank already. Or at least combat? dangerous rank. Yeah. I'm already double elite, I just... Uh... Combat's no fun without people to fly with. Agreed. You've got to have that tip for tat competition going, you know. Oh, I just killed this Conda. Oh, I just killed it. Plus, it's elite pilot. Uh, it's elite fighter. You know, shit like that. I'm really surprised I haven't bought Christmas lights for my ships yet. That is something I would do. Did you say Christmas lights for your ship? Yeah. There's string lights in the cabin. Are you just learning of this? I've I've been out for months and months and months. Oh. I don't pay attention to the updates, I just keep flying. Oh, so you're you're literally miles out there in the back. I'm forty thousand light years away. Oh, I could do that in fucking five or six jumps. Yeah. <laughs> what are you in? Uh, aspects? No, Anaconda. Oh, you've got a jump conda. What's the yes, range sir. on it? Um, I'm sitting at 56. Not bad. I got no, 10 on you. Not bad. I had some pretty shitty rolls, and I was like, whatever, I'm leaving. Oh, I was at 67, but I was half up and thought, oh, mass reduction, that's got to be better. Put it on, down to 65. Fuck! Well, that's what I did. I was rolling, I was rolling and rolling and rolling. I was like, hell yeah, getting good, getting good. That was bad. That was good. I was like, one more time. I was like, oh, that was terrible. And I was like, <laughs> whatever, I'm leaving. <laughs> Uh, if I had the money when the when the game was on sale, I probably would have picked up another copy, but yeah, I'll do it down the line. Oh, it's on sale right now. Yeah, but I don't get paid for another few days anyway, and that money's already spoken for. Yeah. Bills and shit. Yes, sir. But, um, I plan on having a second account just for exploration built up with a jump conductor. Um, by the time Distant Worlds 2 comes around. Which is towards the end of the year. Oh, okay. Because I'll probably well, head out with them. The problem I had was I, I, I spent all my resources upgrading the jump range on both the Asp and the Anaconda. And the Anaconda won. So I was like, alright, I'm taking the Anaconda. Have and you I, come back to the bubble? No, I haven't been back for almost six months now shit how long do you plan on staying out in the black for uh i'm headed to i got about 100 jumps and i'm heading from there straight to colonia which is about twenty thousand light years and then i'm headed back are you gonna hand your uh, cartographics in at colonia or are you just gonna wait till you're back at the bubble most likely colonia just because i've already scanned most of the stuff coming back from colonia already oh yep this will be my third trip to Colonia. This is just a really long trip. I don't think I'd have the patience for Colonia, to be honest. Oh, really? Well, you can take the uh, Neutron Highway. Which I would. Because uh, my ship with Neutrons, I get 240-something, 250 light years. Which is oh. nice. 
the most I've seen is about 234. Uh, there's another guy that gets on, um, Waggers. He, uh, he leaves me in the dust. His, his long range condo, his exploration condo, has an SRV hanger. I think it's got shields. And he gets like 70 light years. Holy crap. Yeah, he's insane. Yeah, I'm running shields on this one, just, just because. Oh, there you go. My laden jump range on my condor is 63.79. Unladen is 66.86. Holy crap. And that that's, is... That's what I was gutted. hoping for. Oh, yeah. This thing is gutted. Like, it's got a fuel scoop and advanced discovery scanner, and that's pretty much it. Oh, okay. See, I got, you know, two AFMs. Uh, what else do I have on here? I never bothered... I've been, uh, I think the furthest I've been is 15 or 20,000 LY uh, yeah, out. I'll tell you in a minute. Where's that? Exploration tab under statistics. Yeah, I got two AFMs, to, uh, planetary hangar, so I could do my stuff on the planets. So, I mean, it's loaded up a little bit. I could probably get a much better jump range if I stripped it down. And I'll oh, have a go. cargo rack. Nice. There you go. 12,481 uh, 12, light years. That's what I've been. And honestly, if you're on the ball, um, you don't really lose any hull. That's like, true. You don't, like, I, I could go out and do a run like that, out and back, and I might get too close to one brown dwarf. But that'd be it. It's it's the same as driving a car long distance. If you start getting tired, you stop you stop driving. Yeah, because you get sloppy. Correct. Same with engineering. Don't do it when you're half asleep. <laughs> oh, that's something I'm actually interested in. Under your exploration tab, how many systems have you? Because I'm sitting on thirty six thirty one, and I'm curious what yours would be at. Be eight or nine thousand would be my guess. That's a lot of jumps. Eighty six seventy five. So I wasn't far off. No. <laughs> Fuck, that's actually a good guess. I'm proud of that. <laughs> yeah, I went out to, um, what, what was it? What, you go to Bagels or something? No, you know, I went out to, uh, well, I went out to Sagittarius A, obviously, and then went to Colonia, and then back to Sagittarius A, and then back to the bubble, and then now I'm headed back out. I went to, um, what are the two nebula that are, like, twins? I can't remember. I can't tell, yeah. Basically, when you look at the map, I headed down left, and then just took the the farthest reaches of the arm, and I'm heading around the left side all the way up to the north side. Oh yeah. Hmm. I don't know why, but I just bought a Type Ten. You already have one now. No, I sold it. I got under 300 million, I think. Yeah, fucking. That's why I've been out with you guys in the trans type 10, killing Thargis. I do want to load one up with just cannons. And then go out with somebody who's got thermal weapons to strip shields, and then I just come in like a man of war, tear him a new asshole. That could be fun. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to take this weekend and maybe try and make my way back to the bubble. Be well, so you can come and hang out with us. Well, yeah, I, I really want to see some of this Thargoid action, because I haven't seen any of it. I mean, I, 
I've listened to the hype leading up to it, but I've been out, so. Fair enough. I was actually telling um, Creed that I was thinking about self destructing just to head back and saying, screw you. Oh, you got so much data. Don't do I that. do. I do. No, I know. <laughs> it's, it's run across the mind a few times, but, you know, realistically, there's no way I can do that. Yeah, nah. At least get to Colonia. Oh, but then you're still going to have to travel back anyway. Well, I could take the Neutron Highway back. That won't be terrible. Oh, true. Be a few hours. How many jumps is it with the Neutrons? Roughly. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know off the top of my head, to be honest with you. I'll look it up since I'm on the internet anyways. Yeah, because every neutron, proper neutron star, not what dwarfs, but every proper neutron star I come across, I will bookmark it as neutron star, you know? So if yeah. I'm ever out that way and I'm thinking, oh shit, I want to head back, I can go, oh, if I jump five jumps over here, there's a chain of neutron stars. Seems to work. Yeah, that's, I pretty much bookmark most of the neutron stars along my highway that I'm doing now, just in case I want to return to somewhere. Or if I want to go back and try and jump a different direction. Are you literally scanning every single planet of every single system you come to? Oh, hell no. You crazy? Oh, good. I pretty no, much have, If there's okay. an Earth-like or water world or, you know, a metallic planet, then I will, yeah. But I won't go past... I won't go past 10,000 light seconds to scan a star yeah. or a planet. Exactly what I do. Hence why Raxla has never been found. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Leave me alone. Because all of you explorers are the same. <laughs> Leave me alone. Sometimes I will. I'll actually look around and I'll be like, oh, that's interesting. And I'll go scan. But if I'm just like in the mode of just jump 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 then you know I don't bother but sometimes I'll just take my time and look around oh reactive surface composite on the type 10 is 258 million <laughs> not spending that new okay so a 33 light year ship can travel almost 5,000 light years in 90 minutes with a predefined route. With a neutron highway. Shaved off around an hour over the normal route. Speaking of which, my ship's a 33 light year ship. <laughs> well, there you go. But I'm going to have grade 5 on it soon, so. Ah, nine cannons. This is going to be fun. How's that asp working out for you? Pretty nice. I got some on my other account, but for this oh, one, yeah, it took obviously. me a little bit of a little bit of a grind to get to it, but we're good to go now. Just doing a little bit of road to riches so I can unlock Farseer, and once I got the exploration good, good. data, I 
have. Can I turn that in anywhere to unlock her? Or does... Do I need to go to a specific? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've unlocked her on my other account. I can't Any, remember. I can't remember either. I think you can turn it in anywhere. I don't think it... As long as you're far enough from the... Jump range is so shit in this thing, I can't actually even jump straight to uh, V886 and Tori from Shinrata. That stinks. It does. It's like six light years. What are you flying? Type 10. Holy crap. I quite like them. If the jump range was up there with, say, um, a sidewinder. Uh, well, yeah. Nah, if you if you engineer it up, you can get fifteen odd light years out of them. But um, if you could get say thirty out of them, I I would happily cruise around the Type Ten. I like them. That's my goal when I bet get back is to buy one of those. Everybody will tell you not to. I don't care. I got too much money. How much is too much money? Uh, over a billion. Oh, with, only a billion? With more to turn in. You're not going to get a billion in card graphics. No way. No. Maybe if you're out there for another 12 months, you might come close. Yeah. No, I did the um, uh, Seoth and Sothis run for months before they nerfed it. So I stacked up on money. Yeah, you should have got in on Quince. Stupid money. Oh, you did Quince? No, no, no. I was just asking, Is it was it the same thing, pretty much? Uh, passenger missions. Oh, okay. I haven't done any of those yet. Yeah, but this was from the station to the planet that the station orbits. Are you kidding me? Wow. And it was only a tourist speaking. You didn't have to actually go down to the surface. Oh, Quince was amazing. Now you can go, now you can go get your Thargoid materials and turn them in from anywhere from seventeen to twenty-seven million a pop. Yeah, there is that. Which is basically a one jump, a one jump. Go land on the Thargoid crash vessel, pick up a couple of items, and go turn them in. Yeah, if you're smart, you'll fill your um, your ship with uh, corrosive resistant cargo racks and you'll pick up four of each of of the materials and uh eight of what you need for the current mission so when you go and turn it in you're like uh um once you go out refresh come back in kind of thing um you're likely to already have the material so your turnaround time is quite quick that's what i do which reminds me, I can't, might go and do that. It's a pretty easy way to make money. Oh, yeah. Now that we've told FDev, we we fucking get in the <laughs> Well, that's got to be by design. I mean, it's a specific place. It's a crash vessel. It's specific thing that you get from obsidian or I, that's got to be by design has to be I mean I mean you get a freaking mission as soon as you land where where else do you uh, where else do you get an interactive mission like that as soon as you land into a station yeah I mean it's definitely a design choice so it's working as intended I would assume the fact that you have to have an engineer unlocked to get the corrosive racks. Like, 
I mean, they probably... I think they did it on purpose. Yeah, that's my guess. Give somebody... Give people a... Uh, reason to quit bitching about the grind. Well, you do that and then you release the game at a ridiculous discount. And people are like, alright, cool. I'll start a second account and I'll blast through this. Maybe they weren't happy with having sold 2.5 million copies. They hit the 3 mil mark. <laughs> yeah. And that's why they'll probably never offer being able to have multiple saves under one account. Which is such a trivial... A trivial thing that you would think they would have that ability, but whatever. Yeah, you would. It is, but I thought about this earlier when you first mentioned the second account. I hopped in the shower and I was thinking about it. And they wouldn't be able to do that now because they'd have to refund everyone who bought second accounts. Or no, they, they could just give them credit towards in-game cosmetics oh, that, on their yeah. main account and just transfer what they paid on the second account. I guess that's true, yeah. Which, in a sense, you know... You know, whether they would have helps. chose to pay or not, but still. Uh, Alright, what did I got? I got a water world here. I almost feel like they, they back themselves into a wall as far as adding multiple characters to an account. Yeah. I just don't understand how multiple saves is not like something that would have been initially implemented into the game unless they purposely thought that people would go out and buy a second account for that reason once they start exploring and realize that you know they're going to be way out in the black for months at a time and they want to play they want to play uh wing up with other right. people yeah either that or they just and i think once squadrons comes out it's going to be even more of a problem because you know People are going to want to do things that are, you know, with other people, obviously. And yeah, wing, have... wing up and be in a squadron and all that. But when you're out in the black, you know, it's kind of, you know, you're out doing your own thing. It's like, well, you're kind of away from any score, sort of squadron content. <clears throat> we can still uh, jump to their ship, essentially, like join their ship. But that's not the same as actually being there. Well, that's what I'm curious about with and stuff and that leads me back onto distant worlds too because their plan is to actually utilize the ships to help leapfrogging out so that could be interesting yeah that should be uh, interesting to watch yeah it'll be not quite sure how they're going to implement that but we'll see well that's why it's all tbd at the moment because they've got to work out Firstly, how the squadron ships are going to take effect, kind of thing. It would be really nice if you could just essentially jump to a ship you have stored at another location. Yeah, that'd be nice. So, you know, here you are 40,000 light years out and there's some crazy shit going on in the bubble and you're like alright cool let me jump to that ship but at the same time I guess it adds to the immersion of the game which is why they made it so that it's one character essentially per account yeah but that makes me question the whole oh me well who's to say that your character isn't sitting in a cellist promise on a uh, on a VR setup with a hotas buddy doing their job well, yeah, it's just like your, it's just like your dudes that you hire to, that yeah. I, whatever you hire to fly your thingies that you can dis, but you know, disperse from your ships. Yeah, they're just sitting on the ship. Yeah, they're using like a VR headset to fly those, you know, little ships around. Eh. What's well, not to say you're sitting at your home planet, VR flying your your main ship, and you want to fly your other ship all of a sudden? That's probably the whole secret. We're all just avatars in game in game my
mind blown. Ah, uh, now to check out. Oh, that's a python. Dangerous rank. He's clean anyway. Damn. Um, I'm gonna test out my cannons. Nine of them. I do quite like how the Type 10 sounds. I will not grease my ears with that sound until I buy one. <laughs> By far, in my opinion, the best sounding ship in the game is the Eagle. Because it howls the Eagle. Because it howls like a banshee. The beluga. Give me a break. I really like the way the asp sounds. The explorer. You said the beluga. It sounds like a freaking whale. That's why it's called the beluga. I know. The Have you guys fun. flown the uh, dolphin? Because I've, I've heard about it, but I haven't seen it I yet. I quite like the dolphin. They can actually be quite effective exploration ships as well. I think yeah. you can get them out to 50 light years, can't you? Yep. Yeah. Close oh, to no it. Shit. Same oh. with the orca. I'm gonna turn the orca into an exploration ship. It's just a bigger dolphin. And the orca yeah. can take a large hard. I just like how the windows on the sides like go all the way around. Yep. Yeah. There you got that panoramic view. Uh, yeah. That's what I kind of like about the explorer. Uh, you know the. You're right there. You got all those windows. You can see everything, and then you got the window below your, you know, down below the dash where you can see your feet mm -hmm. and everything. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Especially if you knock the FOB out to like 80, you can really see down into the, you know, underneath the dash. But things start to look weird at the 80 FOB. Yeah, there you go. I think the Asp Explorer is definitely my favorite ship, but it didn't roll as good as the Anaconda, so I took the Anaconda out. Yeah, I quite like my Conda. Oh, I do too, absolutely. Especially in combat, when I was in, in the bubble, I had it fully geared, you know, A-class rated combat ship, and it was a lot of fun. Ugh, there's nobody wanted here. I was lucky enough to leave just after they implemented the... You could store your modules or whatever. Yeah, you've been gone for a while. Holy smokes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Give you some perspective. Yeah, I'm not even... Yeah. Not even able to store modules yet, but oh, I can store them now. I'm just way out in the middle of nowhere. Or you said, oh, yeah. So you've you've gone through like how many different sets of patch notes have you read since you've been in the bubble, <laughs> or but since you've been outside the bubble? <coughs> An endless amount. He's like updates. <laughs> what are updates? What the hell are updates? Yeah. I see the same thing every day. You know, at least they could have brought the planetary textures so that you could have seen some sort of change in the patch. The 20,000 light year jump thing, that probably helped you. Plotting Actually, that's, 20, that's been really nice. Yeah. yeah. So that's probably been one thing that you can use since you've been gone. Yeah, that and the, the textures on the planets is about it. Everything else has been... I'll find out eventually. You should buy a second account. I probably will tomorrow, to be honest with you. <laughs> you can fly around with Creed! The thing is, though, is I... You said you do... You play it off of Steam? Right now, and I don't have a problem 
uh, downloading the downloader and then doing a whole new account. That's fine. Because I, I don't have it off of Steam. I use it off of the Elite. So I just have two separate accounts I bought through Frontier. And then they're just associated with two different emails. That's just kind of how they do it. So you just yeah. have to you just have to log out of the launcher and then log into your other account. That's the way I do it. Mem was trying to explain to me there's a different way you can have both launchers, but you'd have to have two different installs, and I don't want to install it twice on my computer. Well, shout out to Commander Chaos Wolf. Uh, he has a video that explains how to do it. Basically, you just use the same launcher. You just save it as a different file, okay. so that. You know, whatever you do in game as far as your settings and everything, it transfers over because it's still the same file. It's just a different launcher. Right. Mm. I'll have to maybe find that video and see how to do it because it is kind of annoying having to log out of the launcher and then re-log back in, but it's not that big of a nuisance. But it would be nice to just double-click your different icon and switch over and not have to worry about it. Ah, I didn't get to kill anything. Hey, bird. Yes, sir. If you don't mind me asking, how old? I'm sorry? How old are you? Uh, on January 3rd, I will be 33. Alright, even you're older than me. God damn. <laughs> Everybody in this channel is older than you, except for Logan, except he doesn't come around anymore, so. Yes! I mean, oh, what a shame. <laughs> Hey Creed, I just posted a link in your uh, video chat. That's the video I watched. Oh, and, uh, okay. Shout out to Commander Chaos Wolf. You don't need to plug him. Where is it? I know. I don't see it. I'll post a Discord. It didn't work on YouTube. Oh yeah, I don't know. Some some reason it's disabled. Multi account tutorial. That's a pretty planet. I swore up and down that that was an Earth like, and I was like, I'm getting this. It was a me high metal, wasn't it? Just water. Hey, water worlds are still cool. You might find fucking, what was his name? Kevin. Well, according to uh, EDD or ED Discovery, that system was actually the planets I scanned, that just the couple I scanned was worth over a million credits. Oh nice. Were you yeah. first discover of that one? Absolutely. Nice. What According to EDD, I'm the first discovery of over two thousand systems right now. Fucking hell. Is that doing the logs or is that just through them? Uh, that's just, just to them, uh, and it updates regularly. Um, sometimes some of my systems come up as being discovered, which is like, damn it. But there's someone out here where I'm at because I've come across a couple of systems and EDD has told me that it's been discovered, but it doesn't show it in-game yet. And when I look at their map, there's two other commanders that are within probably 10,000 light years of where I'm at. Hey, uh, how's this? How's the, uh, ED just... Do it I runs have a... to get the, um, the add-on thing? Yeah, it just, it just runs in the background and every time you scan something it just registers it to their website. Interesting. Which is nice if you're out exploring because they can give you, they show you a map of 
like basically the line of where you've gone through the galaxy. And then later on when they when you actually turn everything in, it'll register it to their system and then it'll add it to the, the routes that people have taken so you know other players can see where essentially not oh, yeah. to go if they want to discover new stuff. Yeah, you're essentially adding to the heat. Yep. Yep. I'm just checking something out because I've had my name changed. Long story. Trying um, to go to the planets and see if they're changed. Yeah, that's what I'm having a look at. Surprisingly, I actually <laughs> No, it hasn't! Oh, fuck off! Oh, you're a lucky man. No. I have a, I have a no, black but... hole discovered outside of Colonia that cracks me up that no one else found it because I was there late. Oh, no, no, no. I've, I've got plenty of first discoveries. But I went out to this system that Creed and I personally went and scanned every planet in just so you know it was our one of the first points we had gotten to and um, I'm looking at the names mine's first but it's my old spelling shit oh wow yeah, so it didn't, it didn't update over. your name you, you will always have your your my, mis the, mistress name forever yeah, mistress etched name. on those planets yep <laughs> that's, that's funny. right so there you go. There's the long story. My my original name, Rakael, used to mean uh, it was Romanian or something. Mistress. I didn't know that. So I told FDev and they changed it for me. <laughs> oh, it's fucking That's hot. Pretty cool. Yeah, what, from what I'd been reading on the forums, uh, FDev have a one eye roll moment per customer policy. So if you fuck up big, they'll fix you up once kind of thing otherwise it's like oh well too bad too sad <laughs> that's all right i don't want to have to rebrand my youtube again anyway <laughs> that system i just linked is literally like two jumps away from uh colonia and I was probably four weeks behind, maybe a month behind going there, and no Big one had push. discovered that. God. And I'll be back. I've got to go put some clothes in the dryer. All right. So since you've been to Colonia, what's so special about Colonia other than the other inhabitable space? Well, when I was there, it was just uh, Jack Station, and we were mining rings to basically try and move the system along or the station along to different areas, but it ended up sticking there. So to me, nothing at all. It was just a disabled station and some planets. Yeah, I think it might be further along now, but I'm not sure, because they've had some community goals to head out there. As far as I know, there's actually you know, planetary settlements and other stations and other systems around Colonia. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the first thing I'm going to do when I go out truly exploring. Well, I took a look at ED Discovery, and most people leave, if you look at the map, we'll say Seoul is the starting ground. Yeah. They head to the right and head north from the maps. So I was like, well, I'll head left since most people don't go that way. So I think it really just comes down to taking a look at maps and seeing where people have gone and maybe just going the other way. But Mem made a good point when we were first starting to talk about making these explore exploration accounts and he was like well you know it is nice to have a high jump range for when you want to come back but you really don't when you're going out you really don't want to have a huge jump range just put everything on economical once you get out to where you want to start exploring 
and put it put your route on economical and just jump from system to system and explore that way rather than trying to jump 60 light years at a time and then exploring yeah that's correct that's generally what i do i'll find a an area that seems pretty hot as far as the star systems and i'll put on economical and then i'll get bored i'm like whatever i'm just going back straight range well but it's a combination of economical and you know max jump hey uh question are you lads gonna be on for a while yet i'm yes, actually i'm actually not i'm gonna be going to bed here soon you're fixing to go to bed yeah i gotta wake up early in the morning why it's not new year's day for you well this is the first weekend I've actually been home and not have to been working in a long time, so I think we're gonna You've got chores. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some stuff. You poor bastard. Oh well. Yeah, I was just gonna say, because 'cause I've gotta go down to the store within the next twenty minutes. Unfortunately. I'll probably be out for another hour or so. Sweet. Now get on and buy another account. <laughs> right. Worth the shot. But I have to start all over again. And? Three days you'll be up to an aspects. And I actually, if you think about no, it, it's less. not even gameplay. It's uh, like a couple hours worth of gameplay. And honestly, if you had to, I would just get you the multi-crew into my vulture and I'd just go bounty hunting. One run, six to eight hundred thousand. Does it work like that? Yeah, fucking earth. I did it with, um, uh, Mem. Hmm. I had, oh no, sorry, it was Zahn. Actually, it might have been both of them. Either way, I had one of them in the ship and, um, they were just sat in the passenger seat doing nothing just watching the show and uh at the at the rent at the end of the run they'd made um six or eight hundred thousand they don't even have to participate <laughs> no they just sit there they put a pip on uh on weapons for me so i can have an extra one in shields and uh system sorry and yeah works well works really well hacks My, no, no. Hacks will be when I get my second account. It's going to always be dual box multi crewed into my Viper. So whenever I make money, it makes money. Now that's a hack. <laughs> I'm not listening anymore. Because <laughs> I'm giving you ideas. Yes. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that. They don't, they don't say you can't. I'll just uh, buy the second account and land at Colonia and move them into my anaconda and turn everything in. I don't, th I don't think it works with Explorer. Might do, I could be completely wrong, but... Don't it's worth a shot. Yeah, it's worth a shot. It's probably a few mil. Yeah. I've never actually been ex um, exploring in a, um, a multi-crew situation. So, I don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't know. I would imagine you'd probably have to be there in the ship when you're actually scanning stuff. Yeah, that would be my uh, guesstimation. But if you're, you know, 400,000 light years out and you scan something, it's probably worth good money. Yeah, oh, I don't know how it like you might not get the money until your main account goes back I, I don't, you'd have to look That's either true. way I, I gotta go out for a bit so Creed if you're not here I'll see you next time uh, Bird if you're here I'll see you when I get back cool alright sounds good have fun talk to you soon Kanan do you go to sleep Oh, you're still there. It's being quiet.
found a Sargoid crash site. Oh, those are fun. And it's one we haven't been to yet. Yeah, I've only been to a couple of those, but those okay. are those are pretty awesome. Just said my ship was being scanned. I just heard the crazy. Like I'm being scanned by a big, like a. Like the crash ship is scanning me. Why would you shut your power distributor off on a exploration ship? Anybody know the reasoning behind that? Say again now. Why you would shut your power distributor off in an exploration ship? Does it reduce thermal load? I mean, your power distributor does have a thermal load, but it's probably just in the, oh shit, I want to get it as cool as I can. Because this build I'm looking at for an Asterix floor, they have the power distributor shut off along with all the auto field maintenance units, which I can understand that, along with one of the heat sink launchers, which I can understand that along with a mining laser, which I can understand that. But I don't quite understand why you would shut off the power distributor. I mean, I, I've shut mine off just to see what it does. I can still... I mean... I think it has to do with your pips and how quickly I can, things yeah. reload. Well, it just takes your pips completely away. Well, that makes sense. But, let's say if I jump... Like if I jump out of Super Cruise and I want to boost, it's not going to recharge my my engines. I don't even know if I'd be able to boost. Unless if you're just out in Super Cruise and jumping from system to system, and it really does reduce your thermal load. I don't know if it does or not, but if it does, that's the only thing I can think of that it might do is reduce your thermal load. But I'm not for sure on that. So well, I, I just turned mine right. off, and I'm in Super Cruise, and nothing changed. Yeah, same here. I'm but I'm I'm cars. running so low on temperature, anyways. I don't think that it would change. Yeah, cruising. I'm at 18 percent. See, you're lower than you're lower than me. I'm at 23. But I haven't I haven't even got clean drives on this yet. I'm gonna do a single roll clean drive and all that however I just jumped and I didn't go above 50% and when it was on it would be about 56% huh maybe it does I'm gonna turn it back on after this jump and see what the difference is so I wonder if it would make a difference while you're scooping is what I'm thinking it's off right now. I'm gonna get close and see what happens. Oh my god, it's too close. Oh come on, you gotta touch it. You gotta yeah, touch yeah. the star. Touch it. So I'm gonna turn it back on now and jump and see what happens. I'm going to 
gonna save that for later because that's kind of an interesting thing. With it on, oh no, I'm at 21% cruising. With it on? Yeah. And with it off, you're at what? 18. So it does make a difference. Huh, that's interesting. It's not much, but... Okay. Uh, it might, it like might be, system. like, if you're at a really hot star or something, it might make a little bit of difference. Okay, you know how the one we usually go to is the crash star void? Yeah. It's just like a little scout ship, that's it. And it has canisters. Well, this one... Is making noises just like the mega ships do, or the Thar Void, the ones that everybody's been killing. And it's sitting there as creepy as fuck, and there's like bone structures like exploded everywhere. Huh. It's right here close to the same system though. It's uh, hip 178626 Charlie Alpha. It's crazy. I'm in yours anyways, Creed, so let's see where I am. I'm going to go up to it, but I'm a little bit nervous. I, can, I mean, it's already been found. That website that, um, that, uh, uh, like, uh, Mim shared. Yeah. It's one of the sites. I just popped in Maya and 400 light years around Maya. Anything that's been discovered, it gives me uh, anything that has to do with aliens. You just scroll through there and you look for, they have them all categorized as either explorer or sightseeing or uh, like aliens or bounty hunting. But this one here is the first one I've ever seen on the ground where it's like talking. Yeah, maybe that, maybe that's the one that, uh, uh, Zoom was at the other day, like a week ago. Well, there was one that Zoom was at that was like the actual like mega ship, mm -hmm. like the mothership that's on the ground. This is just a crashed Argoid ship. Gotcha. It is singing. It's weird. I want to see if I can scan it. It's on the dark side of the damn planet too, so it makes it even more creepy. Well, he was saying that that was the coolest thing he's seen in the in the game. Well, let's just put it this way, man. All right, you come to this fucking planet where I am right now, and you are not going to be disappointed because there is a planet that is binary to this one. That is literally, I could probably jump off this planet with my SRV and land on the other planet. And this Thargoid thing. It's freaking scary as shit right now because it's <laughs> on the dark side of the planet. Can you take a picture of it? I can. I can. Uh, let me do this. Hold on. Let me, let me uh, use my uh, Xbox controller real quick and go into the suite. I'm going to do some more thorough testing for you, Creed. I don't think it's making a difference. No. Not even on the scooping. I don't think so, no. Because I was I'm trying to figure out what the reasoning is behind that because I can't, I can't grasp my head around that. That's the only thing I can think that would make a difference is. Well, I was thinking maybe it helped with your fuel consumption, but.